Hi, this is David Rosenberg here. And in this Smart Take, we're going to look at an area where there's the intersection of traditional psychotropic medication with alternative medication, in particular, in this case, probiotics. And the authors here looked at the therapeutic efficacy of probiotics for symptoms of ADHD in children and adolescents. And this is a large meta-analysis that looked at randomized placebo-controlled trials through a bunch of databases up until April 2023. And this meta-analysis examined nearly 380 participants with ADHD. And what they found was something intriguing. First of all, I have to say that there was no demonstration of therapeutic efficacy of probiotics alone for symptoms of ADHD. But even though there was this statistical non-significance, there was actually a large difference in effect size in those cases where probiotics were used as an adjunct to methylphenidate and those using probiotics as supplementation. And there also appeared to be a moderate difference in effect size, that is a higher effect size when multiple strains of probiotics were used. So even though current evidence does not find a significant difference in therapeutic efficacy between probiotics and placebos for treating pediatric ADHD, there is a non-significant intriguing trend showing a therapeutic efficacy associated with multiple strain probiotics or with combining probiotics with methylphenidate. So this could be a really exciting area for future research. And there is a reality that we know that probiotics, alternative complementary approaches and treatments are being used. And so it behooves us to make sure that we are studying this carefully because it's out there and there are many, many people, parents, others who believe strongly that there is a role for complementary medicine, what they believe often to represent more quote unquote natural treatments. So we have to look at this analytically and scientifically. And even though we know how effective the stimulants are, how effective ADHD medications are, there is a reality that as many as 30% of patients don't respond at all to current ADHD medicines, even the stimulants. And a number of those who do respond, respond incompletely or insufficiently. There can be problematic side effects. And with comorbidity, there can be other challenges. So we're not done with the treatment of ADHD. There's more that we have to look into. That being said, there's a lot of controversy about this. And to date, there is no definitive study showing that there is a significant improvement in ADHD symptoms using probiotics. There's also a need to look at other alternatives, other treatments for ADHD. Probiotics are not the only treatment but certainly there's been a great deal of focus on the gut microbiome and the gut microbiome brain interactions. We know that some of the chemistry and functioning in the gut and brain are remarkably similar. So I think it behooves us to look carefully at this. And again, although the results fail to show superior efficacy of probiotics for the treatment of ADHD symptoms compared with placebo, there were a limited number of eligible trials. And so we can't rule out that this may not be an avenue for treatment, particularly since there were these non-significant trends for multiple strain probiotics having therapeutic efficacy in ADHD and using probiotic adjunctive therapy with methylphenidate. Again, I want to highlight that this was not a statistically significant finding, but I think that future study is merited and possibly 
in concert with biological studies looking at the gut microbiome, its diversity or lack thereof in ADHD and how that may relate to treatment response or lack thereof. And this is a huge avenue of research in psychiatry and autism and obsessive compulsive disorder, tick disorders, depression. And given how common ADHD is, while this first look doesn't show an overwhelming effect or even a statistically significant effect, I do believe this is an important understudied area meriting future research. <music>